morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Karen Emerson, and today I have with me my technician, Mary Parker, and this cute little girl right here is Millie. She's a six-year-old mixed breed, and I've been seeing her for quite a while. She's one of my favorites. Well, she presented last few weeks ago. We were going to do surgery. We were going to remove a tumor. Well, we talked to her mom, and she allowed us to do something called pre-op blood work. A lot of you guys out there that's had surgery has probably had to have this done. What this does is it basically checks Millie's body, her kidney, her liver, some other cells to make sure that they're all normal before we put her under anesthesia. Well, after doing blow work, we actually found that Millie's platelets were low and she actually was quite anemic. So what we did is we looked in her chart. We knew she had had diagnosed with her lichia um, basically probably about six months ago. This actually showed us that she had some uh, low platelets so she could have issues during surgery. Her lichia basically is a bacteria that it comes from something called the brown dog tick. She was actually bitten by a tick that stayed on long enough to transfer this disease to her. Our lichia can cause anemia, low platelets, it can cause issue with clotting. It can also cause your dog to become very lethargic, actually limp, have a lot of issues there. So Millie, we, we went ahead and we decided to start treating. We started on doxycycline and we've been checking her blood work to try to get the levels back to normal before we actually do surgery. So when you go in to have your dog, you know, if they're just having a simple procedure and, and we talk about pre-op blood work, it is so important because without pre-op blood work, we would have never found out that Millie had this issue and that she was about to start showing clinical signs. And ticks are everywhere, guys. I would definitely keep your dogs on a flea and tick preventative year round because in Mississippi, you never know if we're going to have a 70 degree day, you never know we're going to have a 40 degree day. And we do have clients right now that are finding ticks on their dogs. So if you have any questions about these horrible tick diseases and, and what clinical signs your dogs will show, give us a call and I promise your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.